Rachel's my firstborn, and how do you describe all the feelings and all the history of, of these years of relationship and your first child? And she's in high school now, and, and probably the, f the best thing about her, or and my favorite thing about her anyways, is, is the change that's taken place about a year ago. I was, I was really definitely just a brat. You did not want to walk past me if you weren't wearing true religion jeans. And it was just like, I was, I was scary. And um, I remember uh, I was, you know, lying about a bunch of stuff and going behind a parent's back. And I remember just all the sin that was in my life and stuff. And then I remember um, this conversation that I had with my dad. She did this complete turnaround where her faith became her own. The Holy Spirit came into her and it's, it's changed everything. Our relationship is so different now. There's a depth to it. And now that she's a teenager, it's changed so much because it's become more of a friendship and it's not just authority and, and my little kid, but she's my friend. He just told me, he was like, Rachel, what you're doing right now, like these are evil works, you know? And I mean, he didn't raise, he wasn't yelling at me or anything. It was all out of love and compassion, you know? But he was just like, this is the truth, this is what you're doing, and this is what I need to tell you. And just the greatest memory I have of my dad was him sitting me down and, you know, confronting me and telling me, like, this isn't how you should be living. We're as close as we want to be to resting in a perfect peace. We're as close as we want to be to God. And I've just been able to say, hey, do you know my God? And just tell them where I've come from and say, I haven't just lived this, you know, perfect Christian life that most people would expect coming from a pastor's daughter, but I really have dealt with some crazy, dark, spiritual warfare. Jesus came to seek and save, to make a friend out of brought me out and he has made me new and I do feel that joy that just comes with it always and I just want that I want that for my peers I want that for the city that I'm in I want it for the world and I would just love to further the kingdom in any way whether it's big or small and right now God just has me in my school ministering to my peers and through my CD that is coming out I definitely want to use that to just say let's not live this lukewarm life and let's let's be radical and do what the Bible says. Tired of searching for what I meant to do. I think I'll stop pretending that I know which road to choose. I need you. Excuse me? Yes? We're gonna skip it today. <laughs>